Hi, I'm Scott Young, planetarium astronomer at the Manitoba Museum, and coming up we have a lunar eclipse that you'll be able to see. Thursday, March the 13th, beginning at about 11 o'clock at night, stretching all the way the, through till almost the next morning, with the moon will go into the shadow of the Earth and get what many people call the blood moon. The moon will turn red. It's a really dynamic, exciting thing to watch, and we're going to show you exactly how and when to see it. So what we have here is the sun, the Earth, and the moon, not to distant scale, but just to give you a sense of how it works. And of course, everything's moving around. As the Earth goes around the sun, and as the moon goes around the Earth, sometimes they'll line up in different configurations. And during a lunar eclipse, what happens is the sun and the moon line up so that the Earth is right in the middle. And so instead of the moon being lit up by sunlight, it's in the Earth's shadow. And so over the course of about six hours, as the moon moves through the shadow of the Earth, and back out of it, that's how we see a lunar eclipse. So the uh, moon starts to move into the Earth's shadow and it sort of fades in. The moon doesn't get dark right away, it starts to dim a little bit. And then finally when we get into the deeper part of the Earth's shadow, that's when you start to see the, the actual dark area creeping across the moon. The rest of the moon's bright enough though that you don't see that color until almost the total phase when, when the bright part of the moon disappears, then the red color comes out, we can see more stars, and uh, actually we'll see some stars get eclipsed by the eclipsed moon, which is kind of cool. And then after about an hour in that reddish shadow, you wind up having the whole process sort of unroll itself as the moon moves out of the Earth's shadow and then comes back to its full brightness. It's a, a long, slow, dramatic event, so you don't have to be in a certain place in a certain time. Anywhere in North America will be able to see it as long as you have clear skies. Unlike a total solar eclipse, a lunar eclipse is totally safe to view. You don't need any special glasses or anything like that. All of North America will see it. You can see it with just your unaided eyes. A pair of binoculars is a great way to, to view it. And uh, if you can't do either of those, the museum will be live streaming it starting Thursday at uh, 11 o'clock when the eclipse starts, Thursday, March 13th, and all the way through till five in the morning on March the 14th. So hopefully we'll get some clear skies and we'll all be able to see the total lunar eclipse together.